What is throat singing? If you heard about Sarik Vanchik, or listened to The Who, if you saw June, or played Total War Attila, you heard throat singing. But what is it? Throat singing is a vocal technique using the throat and not only your chest voice as usual. We can see it pretty well in this video of the singer Giovanni Bortoluzzi. The harmonics are modulated from the larynx, the tongue and the lips. This technique is connected to specific cultures and musical traditions all around the world, like Mongolia, Tanutuva, close to Mongolia in Russia, among the Tibetan monks, in the Osa tribe in South Africa, among the Inuits in North America Arctic, among the Ainu people in North Japan, in Sardinia, Italy, and more. Traditionally, throat singing was used in different ways. Most of the time, it connected the singer and the people around with nature. For example, in Inner Asia, for Turkish, Tuvan and Mongolian cultures, it was used outdoor by the herdsmen, which raised camels, sheep, yaks, and traveled with horses through large steps. Throat singing was then about imitating noises of nature in a spiritual way. This is something we can see really well in the Inuit culture. This was practiced by Inuit women when men had to live hunting for a long time. But in Inner Asia, it's traditionally the men. So you can see that every culture developed their musicality around their environment. You can imagine that throat singing, at the end, is a very wide term. And just talking about musical history, everyone deserves their own video. Because in reality, it includes a lot of different techniques which depend on how you place your tongue and shift your vocal cords. Just talking about Chanu Tuva, we have for example three main techniques, which vary in terms of vocal resonance, pitch control and throat manipulation. I will make a video about all of the subcategories of Chanu Tuva and throat singing, so make sure to subscribe. The harmonies made out of the throat are quite surprising, as it also allows to be polyphonic with the voice. 
which means singing two notes at the same time. This is usually called overtone singing. When producing a low fermental sound, it is possible to select the high-pitched frequencies visible on a voice spectrum to produce a melody. We also name it pharyngeal voice because the sound is modulated from the pharynx. If you are well trained, you can basically sing a polyphonic music. For instance, take a look at this video of Wolfgang Sauss singing Out to Joy from Beethoven. Well, that was it. I hope you chiefs like this introduction, this small video. I will make more content like that in the future, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.